Chun is actually means uh, eternal spring. Wing Chun is like martial arts that is like constantly evolving. The beauty of Wing Chun is because it's uh, minimize your effort and to maximize your power. Before Bruce Lee invented his style Taekwondo, he started with Wing Chun. Ip Man, the one who taught Bruce Lee Wing Chun. He is also very famous among Wing Chun people. All right, one, one, two, three. Wing Chun is becoming popular is because more and more people are realizing how important to preserve our culture. Oh, my name is Patrick. Uh, I'm 33 years old right now. Uh, I'm a Wing Chun instructor. Probably I'm too young for becoming a Wing Chun instructor, so they probably will think about, oh, is it uh, not mature enough to teach? Some people they call me Sifu or some people just refer me Patrick. For kids, I want them to learn about respect and they have to respect their teacher and they have to learn about the person that's teaching them. So that's why I ask them to call me Sifu. Eyes up to the front, okay? Focus, focus. Yep, keep your eyes up. In the past, it was more uh, Hong Kong oriented, uh, you know, uh, because like more people are learning Wing Chun in Hong Kong but since uh, Bruce Lee and all these famous people they promote it in the West so right now nowadays there are a lot of people from different countries they're learning Wing Chun as well uh, for example like Germany like Italy and France the most difficult challenge I think for Hong Kong right now is the rental expenses rental is actually one of the biggest costs so um, what we have to do is like we try to get a lot of students and to cover all these expenses. During COVID times, I had to stop all my classes. Therefore, I have to come up with a solution that I can help me to continue teaching with my uh, Wing Chun class. So the solution that I come up with is uh, using blockchain because blockchain can preserve data for more than 100 years. I'm actually working with uh, different parties trying to come up with solution that can help me to keep on teaching. What we want to do with the motion capture technology is to help capture the detail, the intricacies of all of these motions so that it can be preserved. So the motion capture image will be based on the master's movement and that is properly the best representation of the discipline itself. And it will leave a lasting data and a file that all of the disciples can go back, review, and have scientific measurements. For example, the punching velocity, the angle of attack, the angle of how much they raise the leg. In Hong Kong, you can find a lot of disciplines, a lot of different masters, and a lot of different students who are interested in taking up martial arts. The traditional methods of entering into a discipline through the master's admitment of the different disciples, and that usually takes a long time. It may take a couple of months, it may take a couple of years, and that become a deterrent for some of the newer and younger interested parties who wanted to join into the martial arts world. So we wanted to change the idea to a more exercise or recreational perspective instead of a more combative or fighting kind of, uh, kind of discipline. So that helps to attract more of the fitness-oriented and fitness-interested parties to engage with martial art. Boom. Wow. Second one. Boom. By using blockchain, you're not teaching one person, but you're teaching a mass group of people. So in terms of efficiency and effectiveness, it is a lot better than one-to-one uh, -one teaching. Uh, my style is big, focusing more on the scientific side of Wing Chun. So I want to make it more uh, scientific and then also stick to, stick to what uh, people are needing right now. So for example, um, we've got a little bit of uh, flexibility training, we've got uh, strength training, we've got like, some fitness exercise, and at the same time, they learn uh, self-defense as well. I want to uh, stick it to, to what they want, and then later uh, introduce the, the traditional way. So that way they don't get bored at the very beginning. Right now, blockchain is not that popular in Hong Kong. So that's why I think it's very important that uh, uh, for us to educate other people how to use blockchain to preserve uh, Chinese martial arts. And also we have to uh, educate the masters about what blockchain is. 
So this is one of the difficulties that we're facing right now. There are many applications that are still awaiting for us to develop. For example, the motion capture images, we can put that into like a fitness app so that the one is very popular right now for people to download an app to help them with the exercise. For example, yoga, weightlifting, different forms of sports. So martial arts can become one of the exercise disciplines that you take up through an app. And by using the uh, motion capture data, you can actually apply that as a fitness program for yourself. I think the ultimate goal of using blockchain is to preserve Chinese martial arts and let more people understand and knowing it more. Actually, this one is an ongoing process. We try to continue and try to further develop from the project. So thank you for uh, Hong Kong Design Institute for supporting us because they provide us also the technology that uh, we needed. So what we are doing is like we hope that we pass this project from generation to generation. We have now different people joining this project, for example, like entrepreneurs, like martial arts instructors. We've got people from all around the world, like Amsterdam, Australia, or Germany. They are all different martial arts practitioners. Through this uh, blockchain technology, I actually can see a lot of new stimulus, which helps me to break through the barriers in the past. To be honest, I've never thought about me being a Wing Chun Sifu. I actually, at the beginning, was like my friend who was my, my high school classmate and he, he said to me one day, oh, I, I'm uh, practicing Wing Chun. At that time, because I'm a small guy, so I want to learn something that is uh, uh, able to defend myself. At least like I don't get punched like very badly. So at least I can defend a little bit myself. So that's why I, I started Wing Chun. When I explore more, I actually love it more because I'm really like, I, I truly in love with the art. So that's why I want to share it with others. Okay, so I think uh, blockchain, it can, the best way of using blockchain is because of its uh, sustainability. Uh, through using blockchain, oh, I have to you Remember, we do it at the same time, okay? Uh, yeah, hey, 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 what's up? What did I say? Oh, okay. You want, you want your 